You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face. We're going to start counting how many times Paul Engel, <laughs> our library director, is on Greater Brockton. Welcome, Paul. Good to see you. Mark, always good to see you. Um, library is always a happening place. It um, is. Disclaimer again, I'm the chair of the board, <laughs> and I love the library. It was my first job before anybody ever knew me as the cable guy. I was the library page. That's that right. was the position. I used to fetch books from, when from the, the closed buzzer, stacks. From the closed stacks. Now they're open stacks <laughs> and there's all sorts of things going on there. So uh, first thing we're going to talk about is poetry again. Poetry. There's lots of poetry going on in the library. Phil Hasaurus, mm -hmm. who I want to offer my condolences to on the loss of his mom, I, is doing Soaring Without Limits, mm -hmm. Saturday the 19th, yep. 1 to 4.30. Um, we've become kind of poetry central, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great event. This is, um, we're rounding out the first year that we've been doing this. We'll, we'll do a, I think we're going to do another one in June, take July off, and, and, and come back in September with, um, with a whole another year of, of poetry. He's already booked into uh, December, I think. And he published a book, and he's he working on that right now. He works with a lot of partners mm -hmm. and a lot of other poets. Yes. Okay, and they've come to the Brockton Public Library, and where else would you go but a library? That's right. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're, we also talked about, him and I have been talking about this idea of a poet laureate for Brockton. Yeah, and so I we're think... we've got to figure out how to do that. I think, we, yeah, we need, a, we need a city councilor to sponsor that. And, okay. And, 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 uh, introduce legislation and to, and to have that done. But I think once we get past the budget, I think I have a couple of counselors who are interested. There you go. It's kind of slow in the summer, so there's stuff to do in the right, summer. We we'll right. do that. Um, and we do want to thank the counselors for the support of the library and the mayor. Absolutely. Because our funding, we are a very lean and mean budget. Mm -hmm. uh, not mean, but lean and mean, <laughs> meaning we're careful yes. with what we do. We have a very low budget, but we have great support from the counselors and the mayor we and the legislative delegation. Absolutely. So, all, all of them. Which so, I have who doesn't like the library? <laughs> I've I mean, got a lot really. to do with the legislative delegations really. lately. So, <laughs> so um, after that, we have another author coming to the library. We have Nichelle Page, who is wrote a book called The Matrix of Emotions. She's going to be there Saturday the 26th from 2 to 5. Talk about that a little bit. Right. Well, I have the flyer in front of me. Um, the book, uh, the, 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 um, the, the tag is A Journey Inside a Woman's Emotions in Search of Healing, Strength, and Empowerment. Um, I know that we've had these author talks before, and um, they've always been really uh, well supported, well well attended. Paula Jones has been instrumental in putting these together. Uh, there's generally some good food at these things too, so that's always food good is always <laughs> good, and you get to see the book, preview the book, mm -hmm. buy the book, talk to and the we don't make it commercial, but you can buy the book because you know. Yeah. I don't know about you. I like to buy a book in person. I don't like to go to Amazon.com or some website. I like to oh, yeah. see the book, touch the book, and I actually like books. Unfortunately, I like them too much. There's about 2,000 in my house. <laughs> but I'm lucky my wife is very, you know, it's a mini library. What can I tell you? That's, I, that's I, 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 and I just bought one the other day. Uh, John Meacham wrote a book, uh, The Soul of America. So that's my mm, latest I've heard book. That came out, yeah. And Jimmy Carter just wrote one on faith. Yep, yep. So I met Jimmy Carter when he came to Brockton in really? 1975. That's what got me involved and active in my community because we had six presidential candidates that came to Brockton wow. for the 1976 election. Right after Watergate, everybody was looking for a change. We had him come to Brockton. He spoke at Brockton High, and that's how I got involved in everything. Nice. So nice he inspired me. And he's 92 years old, and he's still building houses for Habitat for Humanity. That's right. He's, a, he's an amazing guy. You know, married to his wife for 70 years and uh, survived a cancer scare mm -hmm. and still teaches Sunday school. Yep. And, but he was in Brockton, and his book got stolen out of the Brockton Public Library because uh -huh. he donated it, and it was autographed. So, of course, oh, well. somebody wanted it. I still have a copy. Why not the best? It was his autobiography back in the day. But he came and he visited the library. I brought him over to the library. <laughs> I was a 14-year-old teenager. It was before I had the library job, and he wanted to see Brockton, so I brought him to the library. Nice. That would was, have been the old Carnegie building. It was. Yeah. It was, because when I was there, you when you fetched the books, you, the buzzer rang. It was like Pavlov's dog. You have mm -hmm. to salivate and get the books. <laughs> and I cut the wires when they <laughs> tore it down, and it made me, Tom Pluff and I went over there and snipped the wires, and that was the end of that. Um, now, you got something very new and very different. Um, Brockton Idol auditions That's right. at the library. So talk about that. That's very cool. Well, Brockton Idol is, uh, you can probably imagine, is similar to Brockton or to uh, American Idol or, or the, the contest shows we have on TV. We want to do that here in Brockton for our teens. We want to encourage them to come down and, uh, uh, and, and sing and, and try, to, try to see if they can sing better than anybody else in Brockton. Um, the actual event is June 16th at, at uh, 1 p.m., the uh, auditions for it, we have two audition dates. We have an audition date on June 4th uh, from 5 to 8 p.m., and we have an audition at June 9th at 3 to 5 p.m. 
We have three prizes going out. Uh, they're good prizes. You can, you can uh, contact Kanya at the library, 774-776-5521, um, or you can reach out to Diana, one of our reference librarians, at 508-580-7890 uh, uh, at extension 206. Cool. And you can find everything on BrocktonPublicLibrary.org. Right. right. One it's word. Org. One word. Okay. Brockton Public Library, one word, dot org. Right. I want to make sure it's an org because everybody gets confused. And then the final um, immigration dialogue series is on June 5th. That's right. Okay, which June 5th is a Tuesday. It is. Um, and that's from 7 to mm -hmm. the close because mm -hmm. there's always good food at that. That's right. And I believe Ozzy Jordan, who hosted a show, uh, the, he hosted the NAACP forum on here. He mm -hmm. used to be the president of the NAACP school committee member. I think he's run, it's everything you want to know about immigration. Yes, that's what it's called. And we just were there for the last one that the mayor did. That one was fabulous. It was very good. I know you were away yeah, at a I conference was, I, I was and I got to DC, welcome everybody. Yeah. But um, he did a really good job. I told him that. I said it wasn't a political speech. It was about your tradition. I don't know if you've gotten to see it on cable. I haven't yet. But it was very good. And it was he deliberately did not want to do it during the election season because right. he was a candidate and he wanted to be fair to everybody. So he came back and it was it was kind of deep thinking. I, I, I enjoyed listening. And now I know what the G in his middle name stands for. But <laughs> you have to watch me. you have to watch the segment <laughs> to find that out. So anything else? Uh, I don't know what we have left for time. Is it a minute or two minutes? It is three. Three. Okay, we have wow. three left. So what else do you want to talk about generic about the library? Well, Anything different for the summer, different hours, different days? Nope, our hours are going to be the same. Um, I'll tell you that we are um, DCR, the, the Department of um, Conservation I, and Recreation, thank you. I think. Uh, yeah, Matt and, uh, and, and Kyle have, have uh, started to plant new trees along the back of the, of the parking lot. Uh, DPW, Larry Rowley's crew, took down a bunch of dying and dead trees, and so we're in the process of of reforesting the, around the parking lot. Oh, nice. So that, and we're also um, putting in a, a crosswalk uh, right from the um, parking lot across the street from the library, right over to the White Avenue door. Okay. And so that's going in. And um, that's Speed it. bump or no? No speed bump. Okay, because it, it becomes the Indianapolis 500 sometimes. Yeah. I was walking one night to a trustees meeting and it was, whoa, they're going down the street way too fast. But and we want people to be safe, patrons to be mm -hmm. safe and everything Well, hopefully like the crosswalk will do some good. And yeah. And that was something that the, the library wanted and the, the, I, I heard through health and safety. And then it was a good idea to do, so we, we, we found the money and we're going to put it in. Plenty of summer reading programs, children's programs like there always are, the maker space, the teen zone. Yes, absolutely. You know, a little, little bit of everything. Um, we have the branches open. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, we have, you know, literacy now and, and ESL and everything. Oh, yeah. You know, so libraries cooking um, where we think, we hope. We're in good shape for the budget, so yep. things will stay intact and continue to grow and expand. And yeah, I ho I'm hopeful that. And by, then, by of the course, the Library expand. Foundation mm -hmm. um, in Beauregard, Council Beauregard, there's a, uh, a bookstore. Yep. So if you want to buy used books at a very reasonable very. price, um, I know they'll be out during the summer at the different events and activities that they they do. Oh sure, um, and I'm sure Ann will have some uh, book sales over the summer. Yeah, book sales. So. Um, 508-580-7890, that's the main number. Right. You'll hear your voice and it'll direct <laughs> you in the right direction. Um, and there's plenty of stuff to do. Soaring Without Limits on the 19th. Uh, book Talk, Author Talk, Nichelle Page on the 26th. Brockton Idol Auditions. Now, I can't sing, so I'm not going. <laughs> but 6-4 uh, and 6-9 and then the main event on 6-16. And uh, just to back up a little bit, the Immigration Dialogue Series the final one for this year. Right. I know you guys are probably working on another grant for next year, and we're going to um, showcase those. We're going to try to narrow them down a little bit more and do one show for Greater Brock, uh, not Greater Brock, and one North Maine. That's so great. I got the rap cue. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Good Thank you, Mark. Always good. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. <laughs>